Hey, hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Pastor Shea, a.k.a. Chaplain G, coming back at y'all with another word of encouragement for today. So I was telling y'all last week that I was going to share with all of you as I'm making this uh, decision on whether or not to get vaccinated. And a lot of other people are are in the same boat. They're trying to make this decision. I told y'all that I would share some of the verses that was having me like in this back and forth state. So thankfully I've had a lot of cool people around me. They have, man, sp spoke a lot of truth in my life, man. And um, it's been awesome. It's, it's nice to be a part of the body of Christ where people are praying for you. They're sharing scripture with you. They're giving, um, as the spirit is moving upon them, they're giving you their feedback on what they feel like the spirit is giving you. I had one guy tell me that God was just asking me to wait, just just wait and, and see what God does. And last week that TRO went through and I'm like, man, man, God is powerful in this world, man. And, and just when you forget that uh, God is moving, God is still in control. He's not forgotten about his people. Just when you forget, God will show up and make himself very evident in your life. And so that's what happened last week, right? Today, I had a, another friend reach out to me and said, I've been on his mind in prayer. And he shared this verse with me. And I wanted to share it with y'all because it actually, as he shared it, he was like, I don't know which way you take this. It almost seems like it's it could go either way. And after reading it, I'm like, yeah, absolutely. It could go either way. And I, and I think sometimes God gives us those moments to say, I... I just want you to concentrate on me and that's it. And that's the extent of it. So let me share this verse with y'all. We'll talk about it a little bit. Uh, this is the book of Isaiah. It is chapter eight, it's verse 11. Check this out. It says, for the Lord spoke thus to me with his strong hand upon me and warned me not to walk in the way of this people saying, do not call conspiracy all that this people calls conspiracy. And do not fear what they fear, nor be in dread. But the Lord of hosts, him you shall honor as holy. Let him be your fear, and let him be your dread. And he will become a sanctuary, and a stone of offense, and a rock of stumbling to both houses of Israel. A trap and a snare to the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And many shall stumble on it. They shall fall and be broken. They shall be snared and taken. So... I read that. I read that this morning, man. And I was like, oh, this is deep. Like I got to I wrote I wrote my friend back and I'm like, yo, that yeah, that could go either way. Right. And so I had to I got up this morning. It was on my mind. Got up and uh, and looked at a commentary just to see what some of these words meant, like in the original language. And what was the what was the scene and the setting of all this? And here's the thing, man. There's controversy on both sides. And it's in its useless controversy, because what it does is it it creates this fear in people like people are afraid to get this vaccination, whether you're Christian or not. People are afraid to get this vaccination. And on the other side, people are afraid not to get it. They're afraid that they might be they might get sick, but they don't trust they don't trust how the thing was made. There's some people that are afraid if they don't get it, they're going to lose their livelihood and their careers and their kids are going to suffer in there and their wives are going to leave them like they're they're scared out of their minds. And I, I, I don't think had I not entered this process with people, I don't think I would have understood the the tendency and the threat that fear imposes in all this. And maybe maybe that was on purpose. Maybe there's a, a spirit of disobedience that's behind the old thing, the whole thing. And I, honestly, I think that's a lot of what it is. I think there's a demonic spirit that's pushing people into fear. They're, they're pushing lawmakers to making laws based out of fear. Uh, they're pushing the citizens to react in fear. Whether they get it or not, Fear is like the driving force, and there's there's all this conspiracy that's surrounding it, right? But Isaiah says, like, God has put this strong hand on me, 
and he's warning me not to be like that. Don't don't be a co-conspirator with everybody. Don't don't walk in that kind of controversy. Don't don't get caught up in all of this stuff. Don't fear what they fear. Don't be in dread of what they're dread. Instead, be afraid of God. Be in dread of the Lord. So there there's a fear there can be taken as like instead of being a respecter of the world, respect God kind of thing. But he says, <laughs> don't be don't be in dread of what they're in dread of. Be in dread of me. Whoa. Like that's there's there's some stuff there where there it's it's a it's it's like an encouragement that regardless of what happens in this world, none of it is gonna none of it is gonna overthrow God. God is going to have his way one one way or another. And not only is he going to have his way like with the world as a as a conglomerate, you know what I'm saying, like as a whole, but down to each individual person, down to each individual molecule, God is going to have his way. Period. Regardless. And so whether I'm faced with this this, this decision to get the vaccination or not, God is still going to have his way with me. If God decides to take me home, He's going to take me home even while I'm sitting here in my office. Anything can happen. God is going to have his way. If God decides to extend my life, he's going to extend my life. If God, if God decides to extend my career, he's going to extend my career. If God decides to end my career, he's going to end my career. Not, nothing I do, nothing I fear, nothing I'm in dread of is going to, is going to help me. Instead, I have to put my attention toward God. I, I have to, I have to give him all my glory, I have to give him all my worries, all my fear, uh, all my guilt, all my shame, all my joy, all my happiness. All of it has to be directed toward him because he is God. And he says, um, I'm going to be I'm going to be a sanctuary to some and I'm going to be a sanctuary and, and I'm, I'm going to be a sanctuary to some. I'm gonna be a stumbling block to others. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a place of safety for some, and some are gonna be ensnared by me. And it's just gonna be the way it is, and that's what makes God God. And that's what makes us human. And in the midst of all that, it's easy to forget. Uh, but it was a good reminder that regardless of what happens, man, we just gotta be gods and let Him do it, because He's gonna honor His people, uh, because He loves them. He's not going to put us to shame because he saved and redeemed us. And it's easy to forget sometimes. So that's where I was at today. Um, there's so much more. Oh, my gosh. There's so much more I could say about this verse in particular, especially the verses surrounding it and how the ultimate question that this passage is asking is, well, man, like, who can we trust? What, what do we look forward to? What What's, what's going to save us? Because God, <laughs> God, because of our sin, he's like, I don't, I don't know if I'm safe. And the ultimate question ends up being, yeah, it's because you need, you need Jesus. You need this Christ figure that's going to come and save and redeem you. So, and there's so much more. I, w I wish I could go on that forever, but I'm going to stop it. Tell me what y'all think. Tell me what y'all think. And, um. Yeah, don't don't be. Oh my gosh, there's so many people that are like shaming people one side or the other, getting mad at each other. Let's not be that man. Let's let's point each other to God in the midst of all this. Because the, these demons are trying to tear us apart. But anyway, I love y'all. Hope y'all doing good. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Hit your boy up. Let me know. I love y'all, man. Till next time. Grace and peace.